A crowd-led national anthem sets the tone for this New York State Class C semifinal game in boys lacrosse. The Manhasset Indians, 19-1 on the year. The top-ranked public school team in America takes on the Rye Garnets, who were on this field a year ago up in Class B, where they fell to Garden City 6-4. From Rye, it's Matt Giannetti who's not able to get the opening faceoff. When Giannetti, a long pole, does not typically take faceoffs for Rye. He's the third ball, 7-4 in Burnt Hills, Boston Lake in the state quarterfinals. As Manhasset strikes first on the run, Jack Peterson continuing his momentum. The Harvard commit. Just 40 seconds into this against one. Him. We're going to try to replicate that. A tall order as Peterson races him and has it. Trying to put this game to bed early. A rip and a quick finish from Aiden Haggerty. And just like that, two to nothing Indians. Yeah, I was just going to say, Rye looked like they were in a zone, but uh, Manhasset found an opening there and scored. Sophomores. It's Cal Girard, three for three now. Less than American a year ago. Now at Bucknell as Manhasset adds to the early onslaught. Liam Connor, the senior, tags his 50th goal of the year. Yeah, Connor found an opening in there on the left side. Just nobody was there. Just took a high shot, put it right underneath the crossbar. I was going to say, maybe the most notable loss would typically be number 21. Quick pass on the circle in. It's Aiden Haggerty. Haggerty, the Villanova commit. Cardulo heading to UMass. A brilliant connection as Cardulo came into last game, just nine assists on the year. Had a big one late. Again, Shoreham waiting river. And now finds one early. No, See how good this Manhattan team, how good Rumson Fairhaven has to be. Yes. So nice effort here by Will Bainbridge trying to break the ride. James Lapina got a late knock. But excellent handle from Bainbridge. The program, and you see his brilliance right off the bat, but Matthew M shuts down his first shot. That's a good save by him. I mean, you know, he's not going to get a lot of shots, but when he gets one, that was a good one there. Oh, Ling had the state title in basketball, had the state title in lacrosse, scores on a jump shot right here. Yeah, you can tell the size right there when he made that shot. Steve Levin described as normal face-off, guys. And the eighth grader beats the All-American. That's one for the highlight tape. Quick ball fake. A couple diving shot for Garrett Sullivan. Unable. Certainly hoping to win this game, but if nothing else, will be a great experience for their young core. As Andrew Keller says, heck to all that. I'm going to pour one in. Opening goal of the game for the Rye Garnets. And it's 5-1 to one in Manhasset's favor. Navigating the crease. Oh, good look. Excellent angle in the finish. Andrew Keller, his second. Keller is on an absolute heater. A hat trick against Burnt Hills, Boston Lake. And two goals in 10 minutes now against Manhasset. McDermott has a step jump shot. Puts it in past him. It was all Manhasset early. We were on track for a blowout of epic proportions, and since then, the Garnets have found their footing. Steve Lennon cannot say enough good things about Tyler McDermott as Cal Girard wins this one with the Jeff Saturday-style step back. Garrett Sullivan, another eighth grader. He loses the ball on an excellent stick check from Jack LaMarca. McDermott on the recovery. Keller charging up. Quick shot, maybe could have held for a better one. Im's all over it. Im an excellent junior season for Manhasset, 107 saves. Stop. Cardulo patiently waiting, and Manhasset has their answer with Daniel Colin, the sophomore's first of the game, six to three now in favor of Manhasset. Yep, got patient on offense, good passing, and then finally Colson found an opening and scored. Jamesville Dewitt. The powerhouse out of Syracuse waiting on the other side of the bracket as that's an excellent dislodge from P.J. Flood. 
Him and James Lapina, one of the best duos of short stick D middies you will see in America. The future of this offense is Andrew Keller. A diving shot, excuse me, no, from Charlie Stevens. Makes it six to four. Yeah, good possession here for Rye. Someone that was just his sixth goal of the season. So Cal Girard is, is now starting to get the better of the... McDermott cannot get the hands free. That is as good as you will see defensively from P.J. Flood. Yeah, no question about it. It was on him. Knew where to pass. Manhasset, a patient possession. And Ramachandra in great instincts. Racing out to intercept the pass to Connor. That was a risk. It was either an INT or a goal for Liam Connor. Empty stick when he shot it. Oh, what a win though for Cardulo. Extra pass. Tic-tac-toe, Manhasset. Back up by four. I believe it was yeah. Daniel Colon who paid it off. Original play by Ramachandran. Red fighting hard. Oh, wow, Gerard didn't know where the ball was. And now here's an opportunity. The long stick, Baybridge, he wants to rip. Im able to scoop it back at Hofstra on Sunday to be decided in 10 minutes on the NFHS network. On the best schedules in America, 85% on the year. Manhasset. Setting the tone to start the second half. Danny Colin, his third goal in a row. And the Indians have recaptured their game high three goal lead. And it was an excellent effort by Tyler McDermott. Or rather that time, Chris Uliano. And now Ramachandran caught out of the cage. Slick pass on the run up to Keller. Sling across the body. How did that go in? Oh my goodness. What a take by Andrew Keller. Across his body. Oppo corner. Beating Matthew Wim in the only spot he could. A little over six and a half to go in the quarter. Good spin move there. But, but McDermott tied up well. And it will be Manhasset ball. And that was P.J. Flood again. The defensive MVP, no doubt about it, for Manhasset so far in this game. Four and a half minutes to go, and the third is that one is uncorked high! Put into the top corner of the net, and Rye is back within two. Tanner House in his first. Yeah, Towson came from behind and didn't notice and put it right in the net. Came out of nowhere. Rye continues to muddy up these face-offs, and they get another win. A scoop from Uliano. Quick cut. Space on Peterson. Uliano! Uh, oh, nearly got all the way through, but Peterson able to deflect it late. And both games ended with Manhasset winning by five goals. Post up for Connor. Oh, that was dirty. Touch the grass, young man. Three-goal lead. The inside hand. And the first, or rather the second goal of the day for Liam Connor. Manhasset back up by three. Yeah, it was like a little over two minutes to go in the third quarter. Connor, tic tac toe, too quick as the Garnets got caught napping. And Danny Colin with his fourth goal of the game to make them pay for it. Yeah, right off the uh, basically out of bounds play, set piece. Rye putting on some fight but popping off the bench to intercept Uliano that man again PJ Flood man one of the most impactful games at the high school level I've ever seen from a short stick D midi the bounce shot oh that was a big time save by him ball skims out second third and fourth efforts that time from Jack LaMarca Eddie. Him and Bainbridge have been quite the duo, but a takeaway oh. by Manhasset and the open net taken advantage of by Aiden Haggerty. 
the Nova man has his hat trick, and Minhasset might be a goal too far for Ryan to challenge now up by five. Yeah. This was a mistake there by uh, Rye. Had an open net. <laughs> Beat the clear, and you see his athleticism. Though this is a lot. Trying to get through six guys from Manhasset. He's nearly done it. McDermott still fighting. And finally, Steve Lennon gives his sophomore a break. A U-22 state semifinal team. Slick shot. Bounces in front of the face of Matthew M. Multiple dives going after it. Oh, wow, Manhasset ball. What? State finals or state semifinal as there's a diving save by Ramachandran. But now a man up for Manhasset. They'll also try and drain some clock. Mm. Ramachandran out of net and an exclamation point put in by Liam Connor. 12 to 6 Indians. 4.27 to go. But it will likely all be cosmetic at this point as Manhasset. Looks to roll back at 3 p.m. at Hofstra. So right around 41 hours from it has to get ready for that. As there's an awesome save by him. But a flag that will likely go against Manhattan. Manhattan will have a lot of turnover for next year. Aiden Haggerty, a free lane to the cage. He'll tack on one more. Manhattan. Does not stop playing. And Hassett has bragging rights with that 9-8 to eight overtime win in the Woodstick game. And Hassett flying down the field. Just 10 seconds to go. And a great decision. They will not fire again on goal. Luca Petroselli runs out the clock. And Manhasset will have an opportunity to win a second consecutive New York State title. After holding off a right charge in the second quarter and putting together a near-perfect second half in a 13-6 win.